everybody. We are going to be getting started with Magical Monday Stretch. I'm working to get it on Facebook too. I'm so excited. So that's my fingers and it works. <laughs> and we could do this. We could do this, you know, one step at a time, right? You just can enjoy what you can do. Ah, one step, one step. All righty. There we go. And we're going live on Facebook. Yay. Go live. Woohoo. So we'll pray. <laughs> focus today, focus. We're gonna have some fun. So we are gonna be uh, stretching out our bodies, uh, relaxing our minds, getting ready for the week. So so important to think about what what do you actually focus on today? Are you focusing on things that'll support you or not? And also asking yourself where do most people or what do most people think about first thing when they wake up yeah it's probably getting to work or feeding the kids or just ah oh, you have so many things to do i'm feeling overwhelmed so understanding sometimes when we feel like <sighs> overwhelmed we need to change that focus and change the meaning so having a plan really helps knowing your uh reason for things that you're doing and just even one page uh, goal sheet or mission statement for your life and what would that look like so we're getting there uh, never boring so thanks for your patience we're just trying to create this to, to occur and uh, it looks like it's happening hopefully <laughs> but we'll we'll make it work anyway all right so let's see the camera and i'm creating this yay okay I think because I'm on Zoom, so this is all good. All right, well, I'm going to do this recording. We're live on Facebook. <laughs> welcome. It's Dr. Gold with Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute. We're welcome to Magic Monday. And right now we are just going to be stretching out the body. I'm going to be working, focusing on the low back as well as your hips, the hip flexors. Um, we'll also do some uh, neck rolls and shoulder rolls just to release that neck and help the shoulders relax even more. Because honestly, if we're on a desk that can, oh, how does it feel? Let's do this right now. Put a face like this. Or you're, uh, uh, how do you feel? Yeah, tense. How do you want to feel? Mm. And think about it. How often do you look up? How often do you smile? Imagine a morning with smile, with lots of smiles, with lots of laughter and joy. <laughs> okay, so today I want you to think about what you focus on. And imagine focusing on happiness, on being well, being just uplifted today. So imagine doing that and see how you feel. Okay, so we're gonna do it right now. Let's practice, practice. I had a patient who's like, Dr. Gold, I haven't laughed in a, in a long time. I haven't even smiled. So I said, can you show me just like maybe four to eight teeth? Just a few teeth, show me some of your teeth. And you know, some people have braces, they wanna not show them. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Beautiful when you smile, no matter what your teeth. And if you know, if you're sick or you need to get them fixed, go get them fixed. That's fine. But show those teeth. Yeah, those pearly whites. There we go. There. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're going to pancake those hands and rotate. As I'm rotating, notice my hips are sliding side to side. Good. And we're going to open up those palms, back to the hands together. Those fingers point towards you. Rotate down and palms away. Good. So pancake those hands, backs of the hands together, rotate out, and then rotate in. Oh, it feels so good. Good. One more time. Good. And we're going to go off to the side this time. Good. And off to the other side. Don't forget to breathe. Big smile here. Take a nice deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale out. Okay, we're gonna go the other way. Inhale up, exhale out. Oh, it feels so good. Inhale, bring it in, and exhale. Oh, bring it out. Good. Reach up and over, up and over. Open up the shoulders. Notice if you're crouching down on the side that you're bending towards. See if you can lengthen up that ribs. You can place your hand there. Lift up and over, and then gently lift back. Open up that heart. Open up the torso. Good, reach up and over to the other side. Reach, reach, reach. Good, oh, that feels so good. So we're actually opening up those hip flexors. Yay, say yay. <laughs> Open up that hip flexor. 
Good, open, release back. Good, and then just gently rock side to side. Just rock side to side, rotate those wrists. Good, interlace. Good, we're gonna do some stretches for those wrists. So gently bring those fingers back. Good, and then lift up. That feels good, thumb back. And then just gently rock it side to side. We're gonna go ahead and take hold of the side of the hand. You see my whole palm? I'm actually reaching this side of that hand. So kind of the radial side or where the thumb is. I'm wrapping my fingers. So if you can't see it, I'm doing this on my hand. So wrap it around. So my, my thumb is on the, the other thumb is on the back of that hand. And then I'm rotating that thumb down. Oh, so the palm that's facing up, I'm rotating that thumb Ooh, down, using my fingers to kind of Release and open up that wrist. So we're basically turning that wrist away from us. Good. See if you can wiggle those fingers. Good, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good, and do a little circle. Ooh, that feels so good. And let's do it to the other side. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, and notice where my thumb is. It's right behind the pinky finger. So if you're good with rights and lefts, I have my left hand up here and for you to be your right. And then my right hand is underneath. And then my right thumb is on the back of that pinky, just turning it in. So again, my palm is facing away from me. My pinky is facing towards me and I'm just wiggling those fingers. And again, I'm circling it around. Oh, it feels so good. Oh. The backs of the hands now together and just kind of press into the fingers. Good, rotate again. Back to the hands, front of the hands. There we go. Good, and shake. Oh, that feels so good. Let's play the piano. Oh, good, open up the shoulders, just press. As if there's two walls here, just press into those walls, open up the chest. Good, and we're gonna press off to the sides now. Press, press, press. Good, and just hang forward. Remember Titanic, which is just leaning forward. Oh, reach forward, reach forward, big smile here. See if you can just rock side to side. Just rock side to side. Oh, it feels so good. So good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Rock side to side. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to do a little kundalini spiral here. I'm actually going to spiral around as I do this. So feel free to rotate as we turn. Rotate the whole body around. Good, and then we're gonna spiral in the other direction, rotate all the way around. Oh, that feels so good. Stretch, 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 reach, reach, reach. Oh, it feels good. Good, relax the shoulders, relax the back, and then gently turning around. Good, feel a nice stretch here. Fingers, just gently release. Feeling a nice stretch, good. So what we're gonna do from here is pancake those hands again. Ah, oh, big smile, do some facial yoga. So just massaging those cheeks, massaging those eyes, the brow and the forehead. And we're gonna do the bottom lip over the top. So we're gonna strengthen the neck, youthful yoga, bringing the bottom lip over the top. Stretch out the platysmus muscle. Gazing up and then ear to shoulder. Massage that neck. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It feels so good. Releasing that neck, rotating the head. Just move in a direction that feels good for your body right now. And then the other side. So I have a question for you. How do you define health? How do you define health? Take a moment to think about it. What do you say? Well, I've asked my patients these questions and a lot of them say mind, body, spirit. Uh, Dr. Gold, if I feel good, I have good energy, I'm able to do the things I wanna do. Some have said absence of disease. What do you think the definition? Is that, is that correct, what I just said? It's part of it, but it's not the complete answer. So you can feel good and have you ever, heard or met somebody who felt fine and then still got sick. Yeah, it happens all the time. 
So the idea is it's not about just the feeling. We also want to know how your body's functioning inside, how the organs are working. So while you're doing this, I'm going to talk for a little bit. I want you to rotate those hips. So circle those hips around. So how the organs are functioning. Well, Dr. Phil, how do I test that? So um, these are in-depth tests called functional medicine testing. We do it at our office. And you can actually check what, oh, and one more thing that Medicare covers it. Yay, yeah, I know, people are like, woo. So you actually can test for nutritional deficiencies. And oftentimes I get Dr. Gold, I'm in the health food store. And in Tampa, there's Abby's and Sprouts and Whole Foods, a bunch of others, but they're in the health food store and they're like, there's so many supplements. <laughs> what do I take? And anytime I'm online, they're recommending another supplement to look younger, to feel better, more energy, sleep better. What do I do? I get it. It's hard. Why not take the guesswork out of that and actually measure what your nutrients are in your body? Are you missing any significant nutrients or just you need more of a certain one. So you're not, your legs don't cramp or you don't get headaches or your gut doesn't hurt as much. So wouldn't it be nice to actually check? So you can uh, with this nutritional test. Again, I offered at my office. There's other places you can get it too, but it's so, so important to figure out so you're not guessing and get the um, target. You know, you're hitting the target rather than just throwing the darts in the air. <laughs> it's like, uh. And then you can also check how your gut is functioning because you do have a sick gut. You may not be absorbing those nutrients to begin with. So you're actually taking the supplements, but it's not working because your gut's not functioning as well, or it's working somewhat where you're getting some of the nutrients, but not to the full capacity. So the second part of that is your hormones. We know if hormones are imbalanced. That can make us fatigue. It can affect our brain function, how we focus, how we think. Um, it could just make us tired. We're not sleeping as well. So make us moody and, and maybe our libido is down. Energy is down. A lot of different things can be affected and it can age us as well. So wouldn't it be nice to balance those hormones, check our nutritional status, our gut status, and also toxins. We know the environment is full of thousands of toxins. We get exposed daily. Uh, so can we check? For these toxins, can we check that we're actually getting rid of the toxins? You betcha. And ask yourself, you know, what do most Americans do? Are they healthy? Do they live a healthy life or are they sick? So do you want to be like most Americans? Now I know if you're watching this, probably not. You want to so gotta do things that most people won't do. In order to live an extraordinary life, you can't just do ordinary things. You need to be be extraordinary. And sometimes it's just small measures, but take getting these tests, for example, we don't know what we don't know. But once you find out, you can take measures to get healthier, to take your health to the next level. Because we have folks exercising, eating healthy, meditating, doing all the good stuff. But again, if you don't know that something underneath underlying is missing, or you need some good nutrients, because if you do um, need a supplement, you can take that start to feel better. Or if you're overloaded with certain toxin, you can actually start getting rid of that toxin specifically or avoid it. I had one gentleman, aluminum toxicity. He didn't realize the deodorant he was using on a regular basis. He knew it had aluminum, but he didn't know he couldn't get rid of it. So stop using that aluminum foil, aluminum pans. I mean, aluminum is in a lot of different products that we use on a daily basis. So for him, he was sensitive. A lot of folks can get rid of it, but for those who can't or who are building up toxins, wouldn't it be nice to know so you're, you're not just, again, guessing about what, what's going on? Okay, so this time we're actually gonna do a nice neck stretch here. Reach, reach, reach. Open, gently back, and gently forward. Good, gently back, and gently forward. And we're gonna reach to the other side. Gently back and gently forward. Good, don't forget to smile. We're gonna do a little lunge here. So I want you to place your right leg far back, lean back and just hold it here and just pulse, pulse. I'm just bending both knees here and then I'm reaching over, over, over and back. Oh, it feels good. So my knee that's forward, that's bent, I'm reaching towards it. And then I'm gonna gently reach to the other side. So bend that knee, good. Lean back, big smile here, inhale, and then reach up and over. Oh, feels good. 
So those front of those hips, remember when we sit, they get crunched. When we stand up or stretch them out, they can open up and loosen. And when you stand, try not to hyperextend those knees, puts a lot of pressure. When you hyperextend, a lot of pressure on the low back. Try to keep the, bent, the knees bent just a little bit. I'm, most of my weight is in my heels, my, my feet. I know you can't see them right now, but they're in the heels of the feet, the balls of the feet, and then just roll the shoulders back. Good. Turn those hips around a little bit. Good, and then the other way. So we're gonna do a gentle twist. And again, this is, we're standing primarily, but you can do these stretches seated. The reason I'm standing is to show you, you can do these poses, a lot of these poses that we do seated typically, standing. There's no reason you can't do that. And sometimes we're waiting in line, our back is hurting. This is a nice stretch. If you're like, I just wanna gently move, you can rock from side to side. Say your, your job is a security guard or where you have to stand quite a bit. This is a great stretch just to kind of rock, not to stay in one place. Good to move. And if you're at a desk job, good to stand up and stretch out the body. But if you're in your chair, you can do some gentle stretches that way as well. Even lifting up, lift, 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 lean back and reach up and over. Good. And again, now the other one of my favorites, and this is actually my, um, when I am in the, um, like if I'm eating or if I'm doing some work at my desk if I, and I want to sit, I don't want to use my standing desk, I use a ball. So when I'm seeing patients, I'll have my little bouncy ball, but I sit on it and they have stands for them now and they have bald chairs, which are really nice. And you can literally just roll those hips around the ball. It feels so good on the low back. And I just lean back, I'm gonna show you from a side view. That feels so good. You can just round and release, round and release. There we go. Keep breathing here and circle. Oh, it feels so good. Good. I'm not sure the screen looks funky, but that's okay. <laughs> so keep breathing here and circle. Oh, good. All righty. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna settle down into Shavasana, which is final relaxation. Yay! It's actually my favorite part. When I first started yoga, challenge because I was like, how do I steady my mind? How do I focus? I just literally thought of so many different things. I got sidetracked. You know, sometimes I would be searching for something and then end up, have you ever done this? Where you were looking for something and then you ended up on a completely different website, completely different topic. And you're like, maybe an hour later and you're like, where did the time go? <laughs> Or if you went to the supermarket, you said, I just want to buy one thing. I'm just going to start to buy one thing. Something's on sale. I'm like, oh, cherries on sale. Okay, let me get this, get, and then literally you have a, sh a shopping cart full of items. <laughs> and then you forgot the item you went in there for. Have we ever done that? Yeah. So I could totally relate. So focus so key. The, the only way to build up that focusing muscle is practice. And what is the secret? We do it. Yeah. Action. So thinking about it, saying you're going to do it. Hmm, sounds good. But if you don't actually do anything, what's the point? So be committed to yourself. Belief system. Sometimes we tell ourselves or maybe folks have told us, oh, you're just not good at that. You're you're you have ADD. You're not going to be able to focus. You can practice this. You can still make progress. You can improve. And I have a lot of folks I've transitioned from uh, prescription medicines, they're getting off those medicines and using either supplements or certain techniques to help them focus better. And there are strategies for this. So no, there's hope, you can get better, but also you have, you have to believe it too. So start saying it. It's amazing when you start taking the action and even the same for 10 minutes, I'm just gonna breathe deeply. So if you're getting started with yoga or this stretch class and you're not familiar, Yoga means yoke or union. It's uniting the mind with the body. And for, um, for, for this purpose of this class, it's more of a stretching. It has many different modalities, but here when I use it for inspired stretch with Dr. Gold, we're trying to use it more therapeutically to release your back, relieve back pain, relieve neck pain. Because so many people suffer with these 
entities and it can definitely be remedied. So moving the body really makes a huge difference. So this movement, I just want you to kind of move gently. I call it move the curtain. So think of a big thick curtain we're moving and we're creating a beautiful masterpiece. So as we unveil that curtain, let's see a beautiful picture. Now you create that picture. I want you to see yourself doing something you love to do. See yourself happy and joyful as you move the curtain. Make the third curtain thick, so really push through it. It's almost like you're wading through some water. Arms are nice and relaxed. My legs are about a little wider than hip width apart. And I'm just bending my knees, moving my hips and shoulders, relaxing my neck, relaxing my eyes. Big smile here. Good, and palm up and then palm down. So just rotating. So think of a ball. And now we're gonna rotate it. So figure eight, that ball just holding on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it feels good. And then the next part is just up and then down. So paint a beautiful picture here with your fingers. Uh, nice deep breath in again. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Open up that heart. Give yourself a big hug. Give yourself a big hug. Rotate those elbows. And know, I want you to repeat after me. Know that I am loved. Repeat after me. I am loved. I matter, I am worthy, and I am enough. Say it with gusto, woo! I am loved, I matter, I am worthy, and I'm a blessing in this world. I am beautiful, I am cherished. Ah, take another nice deep breath. I am, I am enough, I am worthy, I matter. <laughs> love it, love it. Feel it, feel it. Oh. Give yourself a big hug again. Massage those shoulders, massage your neck. Oh, it feels so good. Open up that heart, pulse out those elbows back, 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 back. So what I'm doing with my fingers, I have it right in the occipital ridge. So right where the hairline is meets the neck, place those pads of the fingers in there and press back, open up the shoulders, open up those elbows, oh, release, and then gently reach up and over. I matter, I'm worthy, and I'm enough. I matter, I'm worthy, and I'm enough. And I am, I am a child of God. I'm a child of my creator. I am a blessing in this world. Oh, feel it. Good, open up that heart. Rotate those wrists. Rotate in the other direction. Oh, it feels so good. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> and rotate those hands again. Oh, yeah, this should feel really nice. Okay, so let's take another nice deep breath. Let's focus and send out prayers to anyone in need of healing, of peace, of feeling better, feeling stronger and healthier, of becoming fearless in a good, healthy way where you know you are enough, you can accomplish and achieve things you want to do, you can make progress. Sometimes we're not always gonna get our goals. It happens, we're gonna fail at times. People are like, oh, I don't wanna fail. But that's actually the way you learn. And you can rethink the word fail. I now see it as an opportunity, opportunity for growth. And remember, it's okay to ask, what seeds are you planting? What seeds are you planting today? Because those will be your plants of the future. So are you planting weeds? Not a good thing. <laughs> are you planting flowers or vegetables? Are you planting beautiful things to blossom and grow? Are you planting a tree? So sometimes your, your goal is really, really big and you might not see it in your lifetime, but you're leaving a legacy. How does that, how does that suit you? Does it feel okay? Think of Disney. He didn't actually, well, he dreamed it. He visioned it. He was mentally there because he was building it but the opening of walt disney he wasn't physically there in orlando and um actually one of the reporters asked his brother hey you know what do you think walt disney you know do you think he's really sorry that he missed out on this or regretful he was like are you kidding me he had it up here all along so no matter what your dreams your goals still plant it here and manifest it and then do things daily. We do need to be disciplined in that. And actually discipline is courage. 
Discipline takes strength. It takes earnest to do something on a regular basis. And sometimes it's boring. We don't always want to do certain things. We don't always want to go to school or go to work or do this, but make sure you're making progress on your dreams, your goals. Because sometimes we're living other people's lives. We want to live life on our terms, living life to your ability, to your fulfillment, to make sure you're having meaning and passion and make your life an adventure, not a rerun. Kind of boring, right? So what I said is sometimes we have to do those steps, some boring steps to get to our big dreams, but know they're worth it and know you can live a life without regret. That was my dad. He always said, live your life, be happy, but don't live with regret. So are you doing the things to get you there? Are you making progress? And if not, you can start now. We're going to have off days. I have them all the time. But the main thing is we get back up like Rocky. <laughs> Never give up. Figure out a way. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> and get yourself back up. Get back in the game. Get help if you need it. Know that there are, there are answers for you. Not going to always have the answers you always want but there are answers out there for you and you can find your joy. You can find happiness, peace. Oh, and I'm creating a private Facebook group. Woo, woo. Um, this group is going to be actually it should hopefully be up this week. Um, but the mission of it is to bring joy into the world and create happy ambassadors or ambassador ambassadors for happiness. So the goal is not just that you're cultivating your own happiness, but you're sharing it with other folks. So we want you to spread the cheer. It's not just a gripe session, but if you need support, that's what we're there for as well. But it's not just mental counseling. If you're in dire straits, of course, seek some um, professional help for that. But it's to give tools, uh, effective ways for us to generate joy in our lives, despite the chaos, despite all the stuff that's been going on, the craziness, uh, the, the hardships the struggles. And we know that we can prevail, we can shed light into the darkness and the seasons do change. And we know that we are going to get some abundance coming too. So really important to let's place our hand over our heart, see it, feel it. And I highly, highly, highly recommend creating a mission state statement for your life, a vision board of something you want. And remember the choices, the decisions you make now help you to get to that future. And it's okay to ask you, Ask yourself, what decision did I make a few weeks ago or a few years ago that got me here? Am I where I want to be? And of course, we keep growing. There's always another level. But am I getting closer to where I want to be or am I getting further away? So it's like a road. If you're driving, you get lost, you just turn around. So remember, wherever that steering wheel has been pointing, you can turn that car around in the direction you want. Starts with one thing and you can start to measure. So say you're trying to lose weight. You can start to measure, write it down, track it, what you're eating, track your exercise activity, keep it simple. There's tons of apps to help. And I'm, if you're local or even if you're not, I'm happy. I work with folks all the time to help them with this stuff. So definitely it can happen. Soccer goals, the Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute. Mwah. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day. Stay focused today. Again, accomplish your most important tasks first. That's important because if you keep putting it off, keep putting it off, you may never get to it, right? So don't have manana syndrome. Let's get you to your goal now. You deserve that. Mwah. You deserve happiness, joy, be well. And ask yourself, how's it feel to be happy? What imagine a life if you kept smiling and laughing? Doesn't mean you can't have your other emotions, but imagine if you kept smiling and laughing to sprinkle in more cheer. So act happy to be happy. You can't be sad when you're glad. Can't be sad when you're glad. Live optimally. Take care now. Mwah. <laughs>